Guys, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm Morris and Blow. Morning. As you saw from yesterday's episode, I mowed the front lawn with this thing after we fixed the uh, throttle lever and it no longer moves down by itself. You know, it stays there. Uh, after yesterday's video, I went to the backyard to mow the backyard at full throttle and uh, it smoked. So that's why it's back in the garage again. Just got this in the mail. I have no idea what it is. It's from Amazon and it's addressed to mowers and blowers, which means it has to be from a subscriber or something. Oh, I know what this is. This is a review. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to just wait until the review. <laughs> So yesterday, after I concluded the video, while I was parking this into the backyard, thinking that everything was fine, I saw my back lawn need a little bit of a mow. So I just kept on going and mowed the backyard. About halfway through, I noticed a little bit of smoke coming out and throughout the entire mow. So uh, it was at full throttle uh, for the entire time and a little bit of smoke came out. So I parked it back into the garage again <laughs> If you want to count this as episode 13 or 14, go right ahead. But uh, I'm going to take both valve covers off and see that maybe whether or not the valve popped out a little bit more, causing the uh, valves to not open and close at the proper moment or might be some kind of a oil leak or something like that. Uh, and also let's check the valve guides for the right side, which I've never done. Maybe the valve guide came out a little bit or a lot on the right side as well. And uh, if we see any movement in the left one or the right one, we're going to go ahead and peen it. And I thank you guys for correcting me. Uh, I have never done it before. And when I was watching a few videos, I don't know, I, I guess I heard teen or peen. So I thought it was teening. It's peening with a P. So uh, I apologize for the... Um, the uh, wrong wording for the definition of what that means staking basically with a punch you know uh, pushing the aluminum aluminum is much of a softer metal than steel so if you use a punch tool and just bang some holes you're basically pushing the metal the soft metal so that it constricts just a little bit you know you're hitting it to push a little bit of it out. You follow what I'm saying? Like if you bang a hole, right? That metal has to go somewhere. So it goes that way, you know? And then holds the guide in tighter if you peen around it. I've never done it before. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to trying it, you know? So we're gonna do that today. Hey guys, so uh, I just got a text message from Quinn the Mailman. <laughs> it's about, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, he said there's a snowblower hiding between two cars in between two houses you can barely see and uh, he says it's a snowblower uh, didn't mention what kind it was how big it was uh, how little it was how old or new it was 
but I was surprised I didn't see it because I've been uh, driving with my daughter all around the neighborhood this entire afternoon and so I was surprised that I didn't see anything. Um, today is not really the day before garbage day so it's unusual for anybody to throw anything out during the day but I'm almost here. There it is. Oh my god, it's a piece of junk. It's a, it's a handheld broom kind of thing. So far out. Uh, you know what? It does have, uh, I do see a weed whacker um, motor. Park. So yeah, it's one of these power curves. It's um, electric, right? But I don't see a cord or nothing. This little shoot there. As well as, yeah, I don't want this. And this. It's missing the cord too. You know what I mean? Ooh, look, it's a Toro head. You know what? Since I'm here, I might as well take this because it at least has a pull start, has a gas tank and a cap. You know what I mean? At least it's a gas tank and a cap. And I drove here, might as well take something. And you never know, maybe I'll dismantle it and sell some parts on eBay. It wasn't specific at all. You didn't tell me if it was a small one, a big one, old, new, electric, gas, brand name, uh, condition. You shouldn't use that finger to scratch, you know. It's it's not, it's rude. <laughs> all right, well, no more alerts for you. No, 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 I'm hey, very sorry. grateful. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very grateful for it. Did you see me earlier? I was driving my daughter around. Yeah. You did see me? Yeah, you didn't see me waving? No, I was gonna wave at you, but I, I thought you weren't. Well, concerning like, I, cause usually it's Connie driving, you know, the last week or so. Yeah. By the time I actually see who the passenger was, I just see you all the way back, like you're on a roller coaster, like, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's it's very stressful to do, to, to, but she's a good driver though, man. Anyway, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. So it's the next day. I'm in the same clothes I was in the past couple of days because I decided I'm going to use this as my new, my new dirty clothes. <laughs> anyway, yesterday when I was mowing, check out what happened. I crashed it into a bush. And all bent in. Actually, it looks kind of cool and it doesn't affect the muffler at all, so... I'm just going to leave it. It's unique. Or like they say on TV, unique you. Shout out to Patrick Morrissey <laughs> from Puta Gorda, Florida. That's right. He uh, PayPal'd me $10 yesterday as a donation to the channel. Thank you for your contribution, Patrick. And he also stated, I didn't want you to think that that guy Bill Winters is the only guy from Punta Gorda, Florida. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've had anybody, uh, two different people from two different cities in one state, donate uh, money to the channel. So this is my first. Bill Winters and Patrick Morrissey, both from Punta Gorda, Florida. How about that? Hey, maybe you guys should look each other up, huh? If you guys would like to donate a few bucks, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. It's been a whole day since I put this uh, engine in this corner here after I JB welded it. And if you guys can see, it is dry on that cardboard. No leakage so far. So maybe that JB weld really fixed that big crack in the middle. And all I'll need is, like I said, if you guys have the rocker studs and the rocker nuts to hold the rocker arms onto the studs, I think this engine's good to use. 
But right now, both those studs are uh, stripped and they don't hold the valves uh, correctly or the rocker arms. I'm going over to my mom's. It's been two weeks already. Time just flies, doesn't it? Um, I don't think I'm gonna record anything over there because you guys have seen enough of me mowing my mom's lawn, you know? So when I come back, if I have time, I'm gonna take off the uh, valve covers to this uh, V-twin and check out if the valve guides have moved in either. Remember, I never checked the right one. I've only worked on the left cylinder. And uh, also, I'm gonna use my new compression tester that I got from Ernie McDonald. We're gonna just try it out. Compare it to the compression tester that I have. See if we find any differences. So it's the next day. That's right, this video is taking four days to make. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to uh, do the uh, to check both valves and do a compression test on that LT2000. I'll save that for a dedicated episode next time. Uh, reason why is because I have a trade brewing. This is the Allen mower. My friend Allen, who uh, gave this to me to contribute to the channel, got it working, running, mow my lawn with it sometimes, you know. Anyway, another guy that I did a trade with a while back, uh, one Tecumseh Craftsman mower working for two non-working ones, which I eventually fixed and sold. Uh, anyway, he has a tractor with a blown connecting rod. It's one of those beige Craftsmans, which I've actually never had before. So uh, I'm gonna trade this working machine for a beige tractor and uh, the same mower that I traded him. So I'm getting two for one, if you will, but uh, the ones he's giving me don't work, you know? Kind of like the same deal we did before. But anyway, uh, this has been sitting in my garage for a good while. And of course, there's no gas. I'm gonna put gas in it and see if it starts. So I just got some gas in here. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you ready for this? I wake up today and I get a notification on my phone we're having a hurricane watch. Today is uh, Friday, and uh, they're expecting a hurricane to come on Sunday. A hurricane? That's just crazy talk. And you ready for this? The hurricane's name is Henry, or in French, Henri, with an I. How about that, huh? That'd be exciting. Maybe I'll get to use my um, generator. All right, like I said, haven't used it in a while. Briggs and Stratton, Quantum. Oh, this is the battery to my Mercedes Benz. The one that still works, but I bought a new battery. So this should be super good. As a matter of fact, let's test it. So 12.4 or better. Well, that's to start a tractor. I'm sure it has plenty of juice to run a winch, you know? Uh-oh. 12, 12.2 even. Hmm. That's not enough to start a car, but it's enough to use the wind. As I always do, I take you all on my adventures. Isn't it fun? You guys like my hitch cover? Let's 
see. Let's uh, test the winch and see if it's going to work with this battery. If not, I'll have to bring my jumper pack. I haven't used the winch in a while. Fine. Let's put the uh, mower in here now. Holy cow, this is a heavy one too. The big heavy kind. Oh! Oh, sons of bitches. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. All right, so hopefully um, we'll do a trade, get rid of the Allen mower and get a beige craftsman riding mower with a blown connecting rod i think it's 21 or 22 horsepower i've never seen a 22 single cylinder so i think it's a 21 um and a craftsman eager one to come say engine back again let's go it pretty easily Did you guys see it's a v-twin same thing as that lt 2000 same exact engine he says it has blown connecting rods he says it wasn't his he never saw it run his neighbor told him it was a broken connecting rod and that he obviously tried to get it started but he gave me back that uh push mower the tecumseh engine on it didn't have a bag, I had to wait for the guy to go find the bag in the back, because hey, you can get the bag, you know what I mean? Extra $20, $30 on the price. Gotta get the bag. This thing barely fits. It actually starts, it just doesn't stay running, you know? So it probably just got some debris in there and the jet's clogged or whatever, you know? But it actually starts, it just doesn't stay, stay running. See? So that's just a car clean. It starts. It runs. I'm going to go pump up the front tire so it's easier to roll. I'm using one of my review air inflators just to get that tire up. Forgot I had that. It was in my van. All right. Let's give you guys a different view this time, huh? I'm just going to push it. This is a hydrostatic transmission, so I'm surprised it even rolls. It rolls pretty well, too. Just going to roll it down, man, because it should kind of slow down. Kind of. It's not like free roll, you know? the easiest unloading ever huh <laughs> so there you go thumbnail uh, we're gonna push this 
Oh, I guess we can't. Car's blocking. But we're gonna find out if those connecting rods are indeed blown. You know, I'll let you guys see. I don't know what all this static is about, but I could use some clamps. <laughs> They're all dunsky anyway. But uh, yeah, there it is, man. Hey, I got the cover I need <laughs> in case this is no good. But uh, listen, even if this engine is completely kaput, both connecting rods trashed inside, the trauma of it breaking has swept the inside, completely destroying everything in the connecting rods path. The uh, block is broken and all that stuff. Although I will tell you, if that happened, there would be probably a shitload of oil all over the place, which I don't see. So maybe there's no break in the block, which is good. But the inside, the posts that hold the cam, those are usually always broken and you can't use it anymore. But hopefully, I don't know, maybe if we can, if the connecting rods are indeed broken and I replace them, maybe I can get this engine going. Who knows? All right, so let's turn it. Yeah, it feels all right. Now it stopped right there. So I was gonna park this in the back, right? Because I have that other LT1000 that I had to fix. But the problem was, is that LT1000 doesn't have an engine. And the engine that I was planning on putting on there has hinky valves. So I don't think it's gonna work. Not to mention the fact that I already have a tractor right here that has an engine already mounted on it. I think the connecting rods are busted because look, I'm gonna turn it up to a point and then it doesn't turn anymore and it doesn't turn at all actually ah oh, there we go so it moves a little here that's loose and then see that you hear that so it's definitely busted connecting rod um and then on this side too see so it's not like you hear any compression on one. Like maybe only one's busted. They're both busted. But it'd be fun to take this apart and see exactly what the carnage looks like. That's what I think. That That's fun to see. I'm curious as to what's inside, you know? Uh, so we'll try that. Uh, here's an overview of it. Dirtier than hell. No battery. Good thing I just bought two batteries, right? Yeah, let's just look at the Earl. Looks like okay Earl, and it's at the ad line, which means that it hasn't come out, you know? I'm surprised it doesn't have an electric PTO. Usually 22 horsepower Intec V-Twins have electric PTOs. But it has the engagement handle. It is a hydrostatic. Why do you think it has a red deck? You know what I mean? These things definitely did not come with a red deck. Deck looks like it might be okay. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Anti-scalp wheels. The one bar in the front. You know what? It's funny because I think this deck might have fit on the uh, Husverna that I just sold. And um, by the way, update on that Husverna. The guy used the engine for a little bit and it blew on him. I don't know what happened. Ran great for me. I don't know what the guy does, you know? Anyhow, uh, that's that, whatever. Uh, I got $400 for that thing. It's not out of my hands, out of my life. Decent seat. Hmm, could have used this choke cable, see? Good choke cable, parking brake, good throttle. Yeah, so it's just the engine, I think. Everything else looks pretty sound. And it rolls when you're, when you're, uh, hydrostatic transmissions disengaged see so uh, I'm gonna pull that one out and park this side by side and uh, once we get that thing worked out we'll start work on this one
There you go. Here it is again. Just when my garage was completely empty and I was able to walk around in it, it is now packed full again. How does this keep happening? Just when I was putting a dent in the to-do list, it just all the way to the top again. I'm bypassing that LT1000 green one in the back. And after we get these, uh, the smoking figured out on this one, we're gonna find out what's wrong with that one. That one seems pretty complete, other than the fact that it has two blown connecting rods. But I would like to take it apart and see, you know? Uh, after I take care of this, I'm gonna do a quick carb clean on this and list it so that I could sell it. Maybe, maybe next spring, whatever, but I only have three, three push mowers and one piece of junk green thing with a Tecumseh engine on it. Uh, has a good deck, I might hold on to it and try to find some other engine to put on there. Oh, I have a power washer engine, but I don't think it'll fit on there because the crankshaft might be too long. If I had a long uh, blade adapter, it might work. So maybe I'll do that. But uh, take care of maybe a couple push mowers after we take care of this, and then we'll go to that. Thanks a lot for joining me on this episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.